Do you think modern Windows 11 is out of reach for 32-bit machines? That's why I built Windows 11 for 32-bit architecture myself, and it installs in seconds. Watch this video and rethink what your vintage hardware can do. Microsoft never made a 32-bit version of Windows 11, so I did. It runs off all PCs they gave up on. I'm Neil from Harbor of Tech. Like and subscribe if you want to bring your x86 machine back to life. Let's get into it. Stick around because you'll get an exclusive access code later in this video. You'll need it to unlock the full setup. First, download the zip file from the link in the description. Once it's done, extract the folder. Then open Rufus. Plug in your USB drive. Select the ISO file from the extracted folder and click start. The process will take around 10 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of your USB drive. After that, you're ready to install Windows 11 32-bit on any old x86 PC. Once your USB is ready, restart your PC and boot from it. You will be greeted with the Windows installer. Start by selecting your preferred language, time and region settings, then follow the same steps I show you in the video. If you have a genuine Windows key, Enter it now. Any valid Windows 10 or Windows 11 key will work without issues. When you get to the partition screen, slow down and double check your drives. Make sure you are not deleting anything important by mistake. After you confirm the partition, the installation will begin. On most systems, it should take just a few minutes to complete, depending on your hardware. Now that you're installing Windows on your old PC, you're probably wondering how to get the most out of it. To really maximize your system's performance, I recommend giving Melodic a try. It's a tool I've spent years developing specifically to optimize PC performance and enhance your gaming experience. It runs on any PC, both new and old. Melodic boosts FPS in over 150 games and helps clean up your system automatically, removing junk files and improving overall speed without any extra effort on your part. In addition, Melodic lets you compress your drive, saving up to 70% of space without losing any files. It also removes bloatware with one click and has one click app installations, saving you time. Plus, you can apply over 500 custom tweaks to optimize your OS, making it run smoother and faster right now. You can grab a lifetime license for just $9.99. It's a limited time offer, and you can pay by PayPal, credit debit card, or even crypto. Check the link in the description to get it now. Back to the video, once the installation is complete, you do not need to touch anything. The system will automatically reboot and take you straight to the Windows 11 32-bit desktop. It is a clean setup, and everything is ready to use right away. But before you start exploring, do not exit the video yet. There is one more important step that can help you save a lot of storage space, especially on older systems with limited capacity. I recommend compressing the drive. This step is completely optional, but it has real benefits. Compression can cut your disk usage by nearly 50%. And it does this without noticeably affecting your system's performance. So, you get more free space without slowing things down. To begin, look for the app named Configure on the desktop and open it. From there, you can start the compression process. It is automated and does not require much input. Depending on your hardware, it might take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. But do not worry, you can continue using the system normally while the compression runs in the background. Once it finishes, check your drive space. You will see that the system uses just 4 gigabytes. That is not only smaller than standard Windows 11 but even lighter than a typical Windows 10 install. This gives you more room for apps, updates, or anything else you need. Now that the system is set up and running, let me show you how to get online. You can install a browser directly from the Confera app on the desktop. It offers three main options, Chrome, Edge, and Firefox. Just open the app, click on the one you prefer and it will install automatically without needing to search or download anything manually. I personally use Chrome because it syncs across my devices and performs well but you should choose what works best for you. Comment below and let me know which browser you prefer and why. I read every comment and your feedback helps shape future updates. If your dual monitor setup or dedicated graphics card is not working properly, you may need to install the correct drivers. Some systems require this after installation. If you run into crashes or apps refusing to open, it might be due to low memory. In that case, 
enable paging files to provide virtual memory and improve stability. All of this can be managed directly through the Confer app. You do not need to dig through system settings. Just open the app and follow the options. You can also use the app to visit my YouTube channel or join the Discord server. If you need support or want to connect with other users, the Discord server is the best place to do that. I make videos focused on custom operating systems and improving performance on older or low-end hardware. If you want to get more out of your current PC without spending a lot of money on expensive upgrades, then this is the right place. Now that the configuration is complete, let me walk you through how I built this OS to look and feel like an early version of Windows 11 while making it fully compatible with 32-bit systems. First, open WinVert and you will see that it says Windows 11 to cite the official version. Then go into System Settings and check the system details. It shows Windows 11 Pro as the addition, and if you look closely, the system type clearly says 32-bit. That is important because Microsoft never released a 32-bit version of Windows 11. They dropped support for x86 entirely and left older hardware behind. This custom though fixes that. It is a true Windows 11 replacement and works on older PCs that would otherwise be locked out. I removed the heavy parts, optimized the core, and made sure it stays lively while keeping the Windows 11 look and features intact. I have shown you the proof. Now it is your turn to like the video and subscribe so I can keep making builds like this. Thank you for staying till now. As promised, here is your exclusive viewer access. Now let me show you the second method to install this operating system and the best part is that you do not even need a USB drive this time. This is useful if you don't have a USB drive or if you lack ports. Or if you just want a faster setup. First, you need an empty drive inside your PC. This can be a secondary hard disk or an unused partition. Make sure it has no important files because everything on it will be erased during the process. Right click on the drive in File Explorer. Select Format and choose NTFS as the file system. Wait for the format to complete. Next, open the folder where you extracted the OS files. Inside that folder, you will find a tool named OS Alchemy. Double click to launch it. Once OS Alchemy opens, select the ISO file of the OS. Then it will ask you to pick a target drive, choose the one you just formatted. After confirmation, OS Alchemy will begin copying files and setting up the bootloader. This will take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how fast your drive and CPU are. When it finishes, restart your PC. This time, you will see a dual boot menu on startup. Hit the new OS from the list. The rest of the installation is exactly the same as I showed you earlier in the video, around the 2 minute and 50 second mark. If you need to review it, feel free to rewind and watch that section again. Take your time, follow the steps carefully, and everything should work smoothly. Thanks again for sticking around. More useful content is coming soon. This is Harbor of Tech signing off.